Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you where the personal macro workbook is stored and how to view it. So in the last video, we learned how to create the personal macro workbook, and we added our first macro to it. Now, I explained in that video that the personal macro workbook always opens when you open Excel, and it's actually stored in the Excel start folder on the computer. So any files in the Excel start folder will open when you open Excel, when you open the Excel application. So where is the Excel start folder? Folder. Well, there's an easy way to find it. If you open the Visual Basic Editor, again, when you're in Excel, you can do that from the Developer tab or hit Alt F11 on the keyboard. That will open the Visual Basic Editor. And then from the Immediate window, the Immediate window is right down here. If you don't see the Immediate window, you can go up to the View menu here and choose Immediate window. The keyboard shortcut is Control G. And then from the immediate window down here, we can just type a line of code that will actually tell us where this workbook is stored. So I'm first going to select the personal macro workbook. You're going to see it's highlighted right here. And then in the immediate window, I'm going to type a question mark. And then we're going to say this workbook. So we're going to say this workbook dot and then the word path. So the path property. And then we're going to hit enter. And that will basically return the uh, location, the file path of where the Excel start folder is. And that's where the personal macro workbook is actually stored. So we can just copy this here. I'm just going to hit control C on the keyboard to copy it. And then we'll open up uh, Windows Explorer. Windows key plus E is the keyboard shortcut to open Windows Explorer or the file explorer. And then right here, we can just paste the uh, file path right here in this uh, tool bar we can paste the file path and that will open up the Excel start folder so you can see we're in the Excel start folder here it's kind of a long file path to get there but that's a shortcut or an easy way to find it on your computer it might be a little bit different path on your computer so that's an easy way to find it and then you can see right here here is my personal macro workbook it's stored right here so if you ever want to back it up or delete it or move it to another computer, uh, you can find it right here and copy it out of here or do any work on the file that you want to. Now, as I also said, when you open Excel, this file or any files in this folder will always open. The personal macro workbook opens in the background, so you don't actually see it when you open Excel. So if we jump over to Excel here, we can make it visible from Excel, and you can actually do that from the View tab on the ribbon. So if you go up to the View tab here, you'll see this Unhide button right over here in the Windows section, and you just click the Unhide button, and you'll see the personal macro workbook listed right here. So you can just select it, it's already selected, and hit OK, and that will actually open the personal macro workbook here. So now we can actually see it. It basically it just contains one worksheet and it's blank uh, because really this workbook just contains code modules behind it. Now, if you ever want to store data in here or anything like that on these sheets, you could definitely do that. Uh, there's other ways to store data so you're not storing it in the workbook. We won't go into that here, but this is a way where you can actually view the personal macro workbook. Now, you typically don't want to have it open uh, in the foreground every time you open Excel. So we can hide it again. You just go back to the View tab, click the Hide button, and that will hide the personal macro workbook. So now every time we open Excel, it just opens up in the background. And of course, we can see it in the Visual Basic Editor. It will always be here for us to see, and we can go add code modules here and modify our macros and everything like that. So that's an overview of where to find the personal macro workbook and how to view it. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to add buttons up to your ribbon and quick access toolbar to run some of your macros in the personal macro workbook. And please leave a comment below with any questions about this video. If you'd like to learn more about macros and VBA, then I have a free three-part video training series that will really help you out. In the first video, we write our first macro, and I also explain the Excel object model. If you've ever wondered what the dots between the words mean and what order the code runs in, then this video is for you. In the second video, we automate a common Excel task to create a summary report of all the sheets in the workbook. 
And finally, in the third video, we build a user form to export the sheets out of the workbook. You can learn more and sign up for the free training at excelcampus.com slash macros. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.